What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JPs on your keys. It's too easy about the video today. Hey, you, you, you thought I wasn't going to do two uploads today? <laughs> yeah, I surprised y'all. Yeah, I uploaded twice today. I took a break on Monday, a well deserved break, but you know, I'm back to it. You know what I'm saying? But before we get to this, um, I'm bringing back the History's Biggest Villain series. So basically, I did four videos on my channel where I talked about some of the most evil people in the world. Like people did ter like I'm talking about like dictators and like really like 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 communist politicians like you know what I'm saying those type of people that have done terrible things to other humans. So I actually I have a community post up. There's four people. Four people you can vote for. The first one is uh Josef Mengele. If you don't know who Josef Mengele is, he is the he was the one who led the human experimentation trials during the reign of Nazi Germany where they were just literally experimenting on humans for no reasons because they were like they were trying to get that blonde haired blue eyed perfect Aryan race so a lot of people died in the process we have we have King Leopold who was known for killing at least 10 million Congoans we have Saddam Hussein do I need to explain anything about Saddam? Do I need to? And Fidel Castro. The reason that United, the re, basically he was the reason that the United States had an embargo on Cuba until about 2016. You know, the communist dictator of Cuba who survived many assassination attempts. So you have those four people to vote for. Remember, Josef Mengele, Fidel Castro, Saddam Hussein, or King Leopold. It is in the community tab. Also in the community tab, there is a comment down below with the playlist of the other four episodes I did. So if you're new to the channel, you can get an idea of what the style of the video, you can get an idea of what the style of the video is gonna be like. You feel what I'm saying? So definitely vote in that community tab. That's gonna be up for probably two or three days so I can get a really good view of what the people want me to do. So, most likely that video will be out this weekend you feel what i'm saying so but anyway thank you again for the support um we got love thy neighbor why why not you know what i'm saying so this is episode four of the factor dispute I'm, I'm really appreciating all the support we're getting on this channel we recently just passed thirteen thousand subscribers yeah i appreciate y'all like i said february was my best month on YouTube ever in terms of like viewership and subscriptions and everything yo I appreciate y'all so much you feel what I'm saying without further ado let's just let's go I know I talked I know the intro was kind of long I pro I'm probably gonna I probably already put a timestamp so you can skip ahead if you just want to watch the video but anyway leave a like if you enjoyed that subscribe button if you're new Love thy neighbor, walk up and say how we are. Gee, but I'm glad to see a pal house tree. I don't even know the song. What's new? <laughs> Love, Love thy neighbor, <laughs> and you will find your labor. A great deal easier, life will be breezier. Love thy neighbor. Yeah! <laughs> Hello, Joan. I brought you some dirty washing. Oh, thanks very much. I've got plenty of me out. Oh, sorry. It's all right. I'm only joking. Oh, you don't mind me using your machine, then? Ah, of course not. As long as you don't tell Eddie. Oh, why? Oh, you know what he's like. He'd go berserk if he thinks his underpants have been integrated with bills. <laughs> oh, God. Your Eddie must be the only white man with prejudiced underpants. <laughs> now, you've got to admit, he is improving. Oh, definitely. Yesterday he spoke to Bill for almost five minutes before he called him Sambo. <laughs> I hate washing. It's ironing I hate. Yeah, me too. You think they invent an ironing machine? They have invented an ironing machine. Oh, I've never seen one. Yes, you have. It's called Housewife. <laughs> That's where Abraham Lincoln slipped up. Pardon? He was supposed to abolish slavery, but he never did anything about us housewives. I hate housework. Me too. It's all very well the unions going on about being exploited, but what about us housewives? You're right, Joan. We don't have a 40-hour week. 
More like a 40-hour day. And safe and right if we want to rule. That's no good. We ain't got any rules to work to. Well, it's time we made a few. Yeah. Hmm. No breakfast before eight o'clock. And no cooking at weekends. And no sex after midnight. <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is when the feminist movement starts. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. We don't want to be housewives anymore. <laughs> Listen, I, I have no problem with with someone not wanting to be a housewife. I don't I don't care about that. <laughs> that I, it was a joke, bro. It was a joke. Oh my god. Hopefully some hardcore feminist does not come and try to Oh, you're being misogynistic. It's a joke. It's a joke. Don't let us get carried away. <laughs> Let's face it, Barbie. Men don't know what hard work is. They have it too easy. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Joan. Bill reckons they work to death at the factory. They hardly have a minute to themselves. So the doctor said to me, you see that jar on the shelf? I said, yes. He said, I want you to fill it. I said, what, from here? <laughs> no, <I wouldn't. laughs> But you, hey, but look, look at the growth. They're all sitting at the table together. Because remember the first episode, he's like, I don't want to share my bed with the Sambo. I don't want to share the table with the Sambo. He might infect it, the Sambo. You know the Sambo is like dancing. <laughs> Can I get anybody more coffee, huh? Uh, tea for me, please, Bill. Uh, I'll have a black coffee, Bill. Yakko, I'll have a... Oh, I tea, tea. Yeah, he's not bad, is he, the darky? What are you on about? Bill. I mean, he's always getting the drinks in. Well, of course he is. It's his duty. What is? Fetching and carrying. It's part of their black heritage. <laughs> oh, my God. They used to oh wait. God. <laughs> I, I can't do nothing but laugh at this, bro. This this is cringe in a way, but I, I just have to laugh because this is hilarious. This is a, a darkie. On the white man. Mm. Well, I think we all ought to take our turn. Take? Have you gone raving mad? <laughs> You'll be seeing as one of our equals next. Look, I think it's about time we accepted him as one of us. Arthur, he'll never be one of us in a month of Sundays. Why? He is not our equal and never will be. It's unfortunate, but they were. Well, times are changing. Knickers. <laughs> oh, God! He has two obstacles he cannot overcome to ever take a place in our society as a civilised human being. What obstacles are those? In the first place, he's black. In the second, is a bloody conservative. <laughs> Mind you, Eddie's right, Jacko. Oil and water. And you all say this, he's a lot more fortunate than a lot of nignogs. How do you make that out? Well, our son has got the benefit of working with intelligent, civilised fellas like us. One of these days, he's going to rub off on him. Here you are, lads. Ah, tough, Bill. Ah, you got the time. Good health. Ha <laughs> yeah, ha. Thank thanks. you. You are, Bert. Hey, Eddie. Yeah? Are you going down on Wednesday afternoon? Is it a match, John? No, no, down to the hospital to give you blood. Oh, definitely, yes. It's everybody's duty. My blood may save somebody's life. Besides, it have been afternoon of work. Darling, that, some of them nurses are fair crackers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what time are you going, Eddie? Oh, after dinner, Bill, about two, you know. Ah, well, look, why don't we go down to the hospital together? Why not? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> well, we might as well go together. You're not giving your bed, are you? Yes. Well, that's not right. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. What's wrong with me being a blood donor? Hey, I do have blood, you know. Yes. <laughs> I know that, but it's coloured blood. <laughs> but of course it is, Eddie. It's coloured red, just right. like yours. Facts. I expect they give each to the other blackies. <laughs> why, right, Arthur? Now, why did I think of that? Uh, you mean all blood is segregated? Of course it is. You see, they want your blood for the other Sambo's. <laughs> You'll be saying next to they keep my blood in special bottles marked black blood sambos only, eh? Definitely, yes. You see, it wouldn't do for you to have our blood, you know. And why not? Well, ours is too rich. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oil and water. What a load of white tripe. Pardon? Look, Eddie, blood is blood. There's no difference. Mine's the same as yours. How can it be? Mine's civilized. Yours is primitive. <laughs> Look, Eddie, all blood is equal, man. And that's just where you're wrong. Some isn't. Look, you've heard people say, he's got bad blood. Well, if he's bad blood, he stands to reason there must be good blood. So there's two for a kickoff. Talk about people being hot-blooded. Uh, oh, and cold-blooded, aren't you? There you are, but up to four already. 
<laughs> you see, you must remember this, Billy. Our blood has matured over thousands of years. You make it sound like wine. Exactly. You could say it's more like vintage champagne. Yeah, 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 could. Yeah. And what's ours? Brown ale? I couldn't have put it. <laughs> I couldn't have put that better myself. Anyway. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, Eddie, you know, I really hate to disappoint you, but you see, my blood is just as likely to end up in a white body as yours is. Well, that's not bloody right. <laughs> I shall write to my MP about that. There's enough pollution going on without it starting on our bloodstream. <laughs> oh, God. Excuse me. Where are you going, son? Back to work. You see, I wouldn't want you to run the risk of being polluted by me. What a funny fellow, now. What have I said now? He's very touchy, isn't he? Yeah, but you did lie on a bit thick, Eddie. I was only trying to educate him, Arthur. Well, come on, I bet. Better get back now, as Clark, he'll be after oh, us. Oh, sit down. There's plenty of time. We only drew back five minutes ago. Uh, hey, Eddie, I see they've uh, had that new machine delivered. Yes, I saw it. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to using that. Well, what makes you think they'll put you on, mate? Because I asked for it, mine's clapped out. Besides, they're bound to give the best machine to the best man. Hello, hello. What's all this, then? All on part-time now, are we? Is that the... T doesn't time oh, fly? Come yeah. on, Jack. Oh, jump, jump. Sorry, Mr. Clark. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Mr. Clark. Hang about, Boo. Hang about. Just a minute. I want a word with you. Oh, yes? What is it? It's about that new machine. I want you to familiarise yourself with it. That won't be necessary. I know how to work it. Good. I might say I'm looking forward to working that new machine. Oh, I don't want you to work it. Pardon? No. I want you to show Bill Reynolds how to work it. <laughs> <laughs> the salt. <laughs> the salt, though. <laughs> the salt, though. He know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing, too. Oh, Eddie gonna be mad as a mug. <laughs> you coloured creeper! They want so much with you now. I put in for that machine. Oh, yes, you may have put in for it, but I got it. Well, we'll see about that. Where's Clarky? Do you want me, Boo? Yes, I do. Get that nigg knock off that machine. And why should I? Because I said so. Mr. Reynolds stays where he is. That's discrimination. Look, Eddie, look, look, look You so... keep your black nose out of this, Sambo. Uh, calm down, Boo, calm down. Reynolds is working this new machine because the management say so. Well, you ask the management who's working mine, because I'm not. I've withdrawn my labour. You can't do that. Can't I? I've bloody done it. And furthermore, I'm going to report you to the AEU, the TUC, and the Race Relations Board. All right, look, I'll tell you what we'll do. Look, Reynolds, just for the time being, you go back on your old machine, right? No, I don't think I will. Pardon? Look, I've been told to work this machine, and that is what I intend to do. You will work where I tell you to. Oh, well, then, in that case, I withdraw my labor. Well, not you as well. And furthermore, I want a public apology from Whitey Booth here before I even consider coming back to work. Get not said. Now, now, gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, please. <laughs> <laughs> Too. I haven't stopped all morning. Well, I did manage to have five minutes on the city with Pete Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara, you must be careful how you phrase things. Well, you know what I mean. I do, but other people don't. We got some very funny looks from the butcher when you asked me if I was still having my morning sessions on the floor with Terry Wogan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did look a bit startled. Startled? After you'd gone, he winked at me, said not to worry, he wouldn't tell a soul, and slipped me three extra rashes of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Some people have all the luck. Your bill's settling down all right? I think he's slowly being integrated. Oh, good. They're not a bad lot, really. No, I think Bill is even beginning to like Eddie. I am glad. I know he lets off steam now and again. But I think deep down he really respects your bill. One of these days I'll swing for that bloody neg nug. <laughs> What's up now? What's up now? I'm on a one-man strike. That's what's up. Excuse me. What the hell do you want? My wife. Now, come on, Bobby. Get out of this white man's castle. Just watch it, Sambo. White trash. Bill, watch what you're saying in front of my friends. Hey, watch what you're saying in front of mine. You keep out of this, John. This is between me and King Kong there. No! Look, <laughs> one more crack like that and you get a bunch of black fives. <laughs> uh, what's all this about, anyway? Oh, no, th th this is honky. Yes, I know it because I got the new machine. Oh. Is that all? Is that all? 
That's my machine. Besides, whites always take precedence over black. Why don't you toss, Norris? It's too late to withdraw my labour. So have I. Oh, this is so stupid. Why don't you two just shake hands and go back to work? Definitely not. I wouldn't soil my hands. Listen to me, Eddie Booth. Are you going to act sensibly and make this up? No. Bill. No. Right. I'll withdraw my labour. <laughs> so do I. Pardon? <laughs> Until you and Bill go back to work, Barbie and I are on strike. Damn! <laughs> Are we still not talking? <laughs> Until you go back to work, you are in Coventry. Mr. So Daft. I mean, we can't just not talk, can we? How can we communicate if we don't speak? I mean, words are the bricks upon which you build an entente cordial. All right, we'll speak. Oh, God. <laughs> What's for supper? Get your own. <laughs> <laughs> How much bloody entent called you about that, I tell you. Oh, the flaming door stuck. No, it's locked. Locked? Yes, I locked it. But what for? To keep you out. I think it's called lawful picketing. <laughs> Pardon? The kitchen is my place of work. And while I'm on strike, it's out of bounds to scabs and black legs like you. Ooh. <laughs> Good night. Dang, she went to bed with no dinner. <laughs> oh my God, I remember them days. I got in trouble. I ain't, I ain't need no dinner, boy. I went just, I, I ate sweet for dinner. I was the worst. Joan, I can't open the door. It's locked. Oh, bloody hell, you've not withdrawn that as well, have you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it's no use trying the spare room. That's locked too. Well, when are we going to sleep? Try the settee. Joan? <laughs> Joan? It's cold out here. I'll freeze downstairs. She won't give him a blanket. She won't give him a blanket. Watch. There's a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. He smelled them eggs. <laughs> Give us a bit of rind. No. Nope. <laughs> well, can I dip a bit of bread in your egg? No, you can't. Oh, John, how long are you going to go on strike? I've spent two rotten nights on that settee. As long as you're on strike, I'm on strike. You haven't got a union. I have. I belong to the JBOHU. What the hell is a JBOHU? Joan and Barbie overworked housewives union. <laughs> That's not recognised. It is by me and Barbie. You haven't been affiliated with Vic Feather. I should hope not. And what about industrial relations? While you are on strike, there will be no relations in this house. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Otherwise... You're taking the mickey out of me. However did you guess? Well, I can stick it out as long as you can. You might, but your stomach won't. Right. You wait. I'll show you. I'll get all the food I want, any time. What's this, then? Oh, uh, sausage and chip. Oh, very funny, very funny. Who do you think you are, Charlie Bloody Williams? <laughs> Look, um, could I have my meal back, please? No, you can't. You're out of order. I'm also very hungry. Yeah, well, that's too bad, isn't it? As long as you're... 
Have we drawn your labour? We have we drawn our food? Uh, look, uh, can I have just one teeny weeny sausage? Not even one teeny weeny chip. As long as you are on strike, you are non persona gratis. <laughs> look, look, this is ridiculous, man. I paid for that meal, you know. Yeah, well, when you come back to work, we will hot it up for you. <laughs> Yo! Thank you, Dorothy. Look, look, I, I, I'm hungry, man. Never mind about that. Out. No arguments. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pass the sauce, mate. No. Oh, tart. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> What's the matter, Jack? Have you lost something? Yeah, I've lost the sausage. <laughs> I'd cry ever when I sat down. You must have eaten it. Well, I don't remember eating it. Look, sausages don't walk off a plate. <laughs> Well, this one has. <laughs> yeah, ta, mate. Oh, ta. <laughs> I definitely had three sausages when I said. <laughs> I've lost another one. <laughs> You've nicked it. What are you talking about? I never touched you. I've got me own sausages. <laughs> oh, it's a beast with five fingers. Uh, you pinch my sausages. I'm too black or I'm starving. Hey, my wife's still on strike then. We're deadlocked. Mm. Well, Clarky won't like it if he finds you near. That's why I'm underneath the table. Now shut up and get us a chip butter. Mm. Hey, you want a cup of tea, Ed? It's good luck. Hey, I'll get you a cup of tea. Eddie, hey. do you want salt and vinegar on it? <laughs> of course I do. You can't have a chip butter without salt and vinegar. Go on. Right, well, hang on. Don't go away. Yes, yeah, sorry. <gasps> oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> Can I nick another one, Jacko? <laughs> I'll just have another one. <laughs> Can't find your bloody plate, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, like hot sauce or something? Upstairs in the bathroom. Do you think they're weakening? Oh, I'm sure they are. Wish they'd hurry up. Now, Barbara, you're not thinking of giving in, are you? I already gave. Barbara, you're a black leg. <laughs> Joan, I'm black all over. <laughs> you broke the strike. Well, perhaps I only bent it a little. <laughs> all right, what'd you do? Well, Joan, it was very cold last night and uh, I was lonely and. Uh, I didn't have a hot water bottle and... And you let him back into your bed? No, Joan. I went downstairs to him on the settee. <laughs> We're never going to make him see since. Well, look at it this way, Joan. I don't mind depriving Bill, but I'm not too keen on depriving myself. <laughs> she wanted someone that... <laughs> she wanted someone that... <laughs> she, she was missing that, uh... You know, that, uh... That... Maybe you're right. Maybe we are cutting our noses off to spite our faces. I think it's time we thrash this out face to face. Right, I'm ready. Let's start thrashing. Not us two, all four of us. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll get Eddie, you bring Bill round. Uh, do you think he'll agree to come? After last night, he'll agree to anything. <laughs> God, <laughs> she went crazy. Eddie, <laughs> she went crazy. What do you want? What are you eating? Chocolate. 
You forgot to hide that, didn't you? <laughs> You've been in my handbag, haven't you? Right. All's fair in love and industrial disputes. Hope you haven't eaten it all. I did, and I enjoyed every bit of it. Oh, you won't in a few hours. Why not? <laughs> 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 Oh, oh God! Oh God! What the hell do you want? Barbie and I have decided it's time to end this silly argument. Look, uh, Eddie, man, we got to do something. You know, I'm getting malnutrition, man. Can't you two agree to compromise? Well, well, I, I've always been one to compromise. <laughs> so have I. Well, perhaps we could take turns on the new machine. Yeah, and uh, I'll try my best not to be too touchy when you call me Sambo. Look upon it as a term of affection. <laughs> I'll try my best. Is it all over then? Yes, Bobby. Shake hands. Bobby. You heard. All right. Well, our dispute's over. We can look forward to a decent meal tonight, eh? Oh, that all depends. Our strike's not at an end until we set all the terms. What terms? You always tell me a union never orders a return to work unless they get better terms. Oh, God, well, that was different, though. No, it isn't. We want a 40-hour, five-day week, 15% increase, two weeks paid holiday a year and double time for making suppers. <laughs> but we'll settle for a new outfit each. We've been blackmailed, Bill. For once, Eddie, I agree with you. How's it going, Eddie? Not bad, pal. Yeah. Can you take over? I've got to nip down to the cars here. What, again? Must be something I've eaten. Did that wax it? Well, I thought Booth was working this machine today. Yeah, he's just snipped down to the what's it. He's always going down to the what's it. Hey, quick, quick, send for an ambulance. It's Eddie. What's she done now? It's had an accident. There is a cherry to get down to what's it is falling downstairs. <laughs> It was touch and go, you know. Sister says you can come home this afternoon. Yes. I expect they want the bed. I'd have a blood transfusion, you know. Oh, you look better for it. Yes. You know me, I'm a very rare blood group. Yes, you would be. <laughs> <laughs> Still, they've managed to find a donor with the same unique breeding. <laughs> <laughs> I shall always be grateful to that unknown man, you know. I wonder who that is. He gave his blood to save my life. If he were here, I'd like to shake him by the hand. Shake Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bobby. Hello, blood brother. <laughs> Yo, that was funny. I liked that episode. That was hilarious. That man was really reaching underneath the table trying to grab a sock. Oh, that's crazy. But, uh, hmm. Thank you again for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed that. Subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Again, vote on vote on that community post, the poll. Again, you got Josef Mangale, King Leopold, Saddam Hussein, or Fidel Castro. I got, and there's also a playlist in the comment section underneath that post. If you haven't seen those videos, so you can know what to expect when you get a video like that. But thank you again for the support. I appreciate y'all so much. Hope you have a great Wednesday. Uh, I'm out. Peace.